Okay, we're going to try problem 6.7.21. So the first thing I notice is the coefficients. If I take the opposite of the x, coefficient of the x, which is minus 4 and divide by minus 5, if I get 4 fifths, I notice those are the same equations. So the first equation is in slope intercept, 4 fifths x plus 4. So I'm going to try something here. I'm going to go to this whiteboard. And if I take the second equation, which was 4x minus 5y equals negative 20. I'm going to move the 5y to the right, and the minus 20 becomes a plus 20 on the left. And then if I divide everything by 5, you see we get the same equation. 4 fifths x plus 4 equals y. That's the, that's the first equation. If I go back to the to the other board, you can see 4 fifths x plus 4. So, oop, hit the wrong. OK, so if I just draw that first equation, the graph of the first equation, that is. So graph, the intercepts plus 4. The slope's 4 over 5, so go up 4 on the y and over to the right. Oop. i got to clear that. Somehow I have accidentally, uh, OK, start over. So the intercept is y equals 4. I go up 1, 2, 3, 4 on the y, and then 5 over up to the right on the x. There's my graph. That's it. And since it's the same line, both equations are the same, so they give you the same line, there's an infinite number of solutions. That's it. That's problem 6.7.21. Dr. K, over and out.